Claudia Cardinale, an Italian actress born April 15, 1938, in Tunis, Tunisia, became a symbol of the evolving roles of women in cinema. Rising to fame in the early 1960s, she graced both European and American films with her undeniable talent. Her breakthrough role came in Luciano Visconti's Rocco and his brothers, where she held her own against heavyweight actors. This performance led to offers from Hollywood, making her one of the few European actresses to successfully cross over during that era. Among her notable English language films are The Pink Panther alongside David Niven and Peter Sellers and Circle of Love with Henry Fonda and Burt Lancaster. In these movies, the actress demonstrated her ability to handle comedy and drama equally well. Despite working in different languages and cultures, Claudia never lost sight of her roots. She continued to appear in Italian productions throughout her career, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards, including Best Actress at the Venice Film Festival for Sister Stashi's Convent. Even today, Claudia Cardinale remains a beloved figure in global cinema, inspiring generations of aspiring actors. Her contributions extend beyond acting. She has been a passionate advocate for women's rights and preservation of cultural heritage. Claudia Cardinale is an iconic actress known for her work in many legendary films. You might recognize her from The Leopard, Eight One Ho or Rocco and his brothers. Perhaps you first saw her in Dr. Zhivago or Once Upon a Time in the West. We'd love to hear about your favorite Claudia Cardinale role or the first time you recognized her. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout her career, there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts that have shaped Claudia Cardinale's journey. Keep watching to learn more about this fascinating actress. So which film do you believe defined Claudia Cardinale's career? Let us know in the comments below. Born in Tunisia to Italian parents in 1938, Claudia Cardinale spent her childhood surrounded by a diverse mix of cultures that shaped her unique perspective. She grew up speaking both French and Arabic before learning Italian, which later became her working language in film. Her father, a civil engineer, instilled in her a strong sense of discipline and hard work, while her mother encouraged her love for cinema. As a teenager, Claudia often accompanied her mother to local movie theaters, where she developed a deep appreciation for classic Hollywood movies. This early exposure to international cinema sparked her interest in acting and fueled her desire to pursue it professionally. During her time at the Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia, Italy's national film school, Claudia met several influential figures who played pivotal roles in shaping her career. One such person was Franco Cristaldi, a renowned producer who recognized her potential and offered her a contract with his production company. Under his guidance, Claudia honed her skills as an actress and appeared in numerous successful films throughout the late 50s and early 60s. Another significant influence on Claudia's career was director Lucino Visconti, who cast her in his critically acclaimed film The Leopard. Working alongside legends like Burt Lancaster and Alain Delon allowed Claudia to learn from experienced actors and refine her own performance style. Over the years, she continued collaborating with various talented directors, further solidifying her status as one of Europe's most respected actresses. Despite facing challenges along the way, Claudia remained dedicated to her craft and consistently delivered captivating performances in both commercial hits and art house favorites. To this day, she continues inspiring aspiring actors worldwide through her impressive body of work and unwavering commitment to storytelling. Claudia Cardinale, an Italian-Tunisian actress, gained fame in the 1960s Italian cinema. She started as a model and entered beauty pageants before pursuing acting. One of her earliest significant roles was in Lucino Visconti's Rocco and his brothers, Cardinale played a pivotal role in this classic film, which explored family dynamics and societal issues. In 1963, she starred in The Leopard, directed by Visconti again. This film, set in the time of Italian unification, is considered a must-watch for its historical significance and Cardinale's powerful performance. 
She also appeared in 8 One Have, a Fellini film, where she played a glamorous movie star. This film is known for its surreal imagery and exploration of the creative process. Cardinal's career extended beyond Italian cinema. She starred in American films like The Pink Panther alongside David Niven and Peter Sellers. Her role as Princess Dalla further solidified her status as an international star. In Circle of Love, Cardinal played the lead role, showcasing her versatility as an actress. This film, set in 19th century France, tells the story of a woman navigating societal expectations and personal desires. Another must-watch film is Girl with a Suitcase, where Cardinal portrays a young woman trying to find her place in the world. This film is a testament to Cardinal's ability to convey complex emotions through her performances. For those new to her work, starting with Rocco, and his brothers or the leopard is recommended. These films not only showcase Cardinal's talent, but also provide a glimpse into Italian history and culture. In conclusion, Claudia Cardinal's filmography is a treasure trove of classic films that offer a range of experiences. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Claudia Cardinale's passion for acting was ignited during her teenage years. Growing up in Tunisia, she never imagined a career in film. However, everything changed when she won a beauty contest at the age of 17. The prize was a trip to the Venice Film Festival, an event that introduced her to the enchanting world of cinema. As she watched the films, she was captivated by the power of acting, the way it could transport her to different worlds, and the emotions it could evoke. She felt a strong connection to the art form and decided to pursue it further. Despite facing numerous challenges, including language barriers and cultural differences, Claudia was determined to succeed. She took acting lessons and started auditioning for roles. Her hard work paid off when she was cast in her first film, the Knights of Kiberia, at the age of 19. This experience solidified her passion for acting. She loved the thrill of being on set, the camaraderie with her fellow actors, and the satisfaction of bringing a character to life. From then on, she dedicated herself to her craft, going on to star in numerous films and TV shows, and becoming one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. Claudia Cardinale, known for her role as Jill McBain in Once Upon a Time in the West, had a memorable first day of filming. This day marked not only her nude love scene with Henry Fonda, but also Fonda's first such scene. Interestingly, his wife insisted on being present during the filming. The actress signed a restrictive contract that forbade her from cutting her hair, getting married, or gaining weight. To keep her newborn son a secret, she introduced him as her baby brother, when he was born out of wedlock. She waited until he was 19 before revealing the truth about his parentage. In Once Upon a Time in the West, Claudia Cardinale wears fake eyelashes, a beauty invention by Max Factor in the early 1910s. These false lashes add an extra touch of glamour to her on-screen presence. Claudia Cardinale, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Hailing from Tunisia, she struggled financially and faced skepticism from the industry. Despite these obstacles, her resilience and determination led her to find creative solutions. Cardinale's family, originally from Sicily, faced financial hardships, making it difficult for her to pursue her dream. However, she remained undeterred and participated in the Miss Italy contest, which she won using the opportunity to launch her acting career. The film industry was not always welcoming to the actress. She faced skepticism and was often overlooked for leading roles due to her unconventional beauty and accent. Yet she refused to conform to industry standards and continued to pursue her passion. Cardinale's resilience paid off when she was offered a role in a classic film. Although she initially struggled with the language barrier, she worked tirelessly to improve her language skills and delivered a remarkable performance. The actress also faced challenges in balancing her personal and professional life. She was often forced to choose between her career and her family. 
but she found a way to make it work. She once said, I never wanted to sacrifice my family for my career. I wanted both. Cardinale's determination and resilience have left a lasting impact on the film industry. She has inspired countless young actors and actresses to pursue their dreams, regardless of the obstacles they may face. Her legacy serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to oneself. Claudia Cardinale's impressive film career has seen her collaborate with some of the greatest directors in cinema history. In 1957, she was discovered by producer Franco Cristaldi and was soon after crowned most beautiful Italian girl in Tunis. Cristaldi became her mentor and later her husband, playing a significant role in her development as an actress. Throughout her career, Cardinal has starred in a number of critically acclaimed films, including Aid White directed by Federico Fellini, The Leopard and Rocco, and his brothers by Lucino Visconti. Once Upon a Time in the West, by Sergio Leone, and Fitzcarraldo by Werner Herzog. These films have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema and have helped to establish Cardinale as a talented and versatile actress. Despite facing challenges and obstacles in the industry, Cardinale has remained dedicated to her craft and has continued to take on diverse and interesting roles. Her contributions to the world of film are significant and continue to be celebrated by audiences and industry professionals alike. The legacy of Claudia Cardinale is one that will be cherished for generations to come. Claudia Cardinale, an Italian actress, gained international fame in the 1960s. Her breakthrough moment came with her role in Lucino Visconti's Rocco and his brothers in 1960. The film, a family drama set in Milan, showcased her ability to portray complex emotions, earning her critical acclaim. Visconti, who was known for his meticulous direction, saw great potential in Cardinale and cast her in the film despite her lack of acting experience. In 1963, Cardinale starred in The Leopard, another Visconti film, which became a classic of Italian cinema. Her performance as the fiery and passionate Angelica received widespread praise and solidified her status as a leading actress. The film won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, bringing Cardinale to the attention of international audiences. Cardinale's career continued to flourish in the following years, and she became a symbol of the liberated woman in European cinema. In 1965, she starred in The Pink Panther alongside David Niven and Peter Sellers, which was a major success at the box office. Her performance as Princess Dalla brought her to the attention of American audiences and established her as a bankable star in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Cardinale has worked with some of the most renowned directors in the industry, including Sergio Leone, Philippe de Broca, and Federico Fellini-Totic. In 1968, she starred in Fellini's Spirits of the Dead, a segment of the anthology film Histoires Extraordinaires. Her performance as the haunted and seductive Julietta received critical acclaim and further cemented her status as a leading actress. Cardinale's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters has inspired generations of actresses. As a symbol of the liberated woman, she challenged traditional gender roles and paved the way for future generations of actresses to do the same. Her contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences and industry professionals alike. Claudia Cardinale, the renowned Italian actress, experienced a devastating tragedy when she was just four years old. A terrible bombing in her hometown of Tunis, Tunisia, took the life of her younger sister, who was only two years old. This traumatic event marked the actress's life forever, but it also sparked her passion for acting, which became a refuge and an outlet for her emotions. Cardinale's career took off in the early 1960s when she starred in several Italian films, quickly becoming one of the most sought-after actresses in Europe. Her breakthrough role came in Lucino Visconti's The Leopard, where she played the fiery and passionate Angelica Sidera, opposite Burt Lancaster. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning Cardinale international recognition and cementing her status as a rising star. Despite the challenges she faced early in life, Claudia Cardinale persevered and built a successful career as an actress.
leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Claudia Cardinal, an Italian actress who gained international fame in the 1960s, is known for her unique approach to her work. She once stated, I have always liked characters who are real, not stereotypes, not perfect women. This statement reflects her artistic vision, which values authenticity and complexity over simplistic portrayals. Cardinal's process is deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Raised in Tunisia, she brings a unique perspective to her roles, often playing characters who are strong-willed and independent. In an interview, she said, I was always a rebel, and I think that's why I became an actor. I wanted to express myself to show that women can be more than just wives and mothers. One of the most striking aspects of Cardinal's style is her ability to convey emotion through her facial expressions and body language. She has a naturalistic acting style that is both subtle and powerful. In this classic film, Eight One Ho, she plays a role that requires her to communicate with her co-star through facial expressions and body language rather than dialogue. Her ability to convey complex emotions without words is a testament to her skill as an actress. Cardinal's work often reflects her feminist worldview. She has spoken out about the need for more complex and diverse roles for women in film. In this show, The Pink Panther, she plays a character who is both glamorous and intelligent, challenging the stereotype of the ditzy blonde. In conclusion, Claudia Cardinal's artistic vision and process are deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Her unique approach to her work, which values authenticity and complexity, has made her one of the most respected and beloved actresses of her generation. In 1957, during the Venice Film Festival, Claudia Cardinal faced a distressing situation. At just 18 years old, she discovered that her new husband had already fathered a child with another woman before their marriage. This revelation came as a devastating blow, but it did not deter the actress from pursuing her dreams. Throughout her career, Claudia Cardinale had captivated audiences with her undeniable talent and charm. She starred in numerous films, including The Leopard, where she played opposite Burt Lancaster and Alain Delon. Her performance earned her critical acclaim and solidified her status as a leading lady in Italian cinema. Despite facing adversity early in her life, Claudia Cardinale remained dedicated to her craft. Over time, she expanded her horizons by working in American productions like Blindfold, alongside Rock Hudson, and Circle of Two with Richard Burton. These roles allowed her to reach an even wider audience and demonstrate her versatility as an actress. As Claudia Cardinale continued to make her mark in Hollywood, she also became involved in various humanitarian efforts. For instance, she served as a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador, advocating for education and gender equality around the globe. Through these endeavors, she proved herself to be more than just a talented performer. She was also a compassionate individual who sought to improve the lives of others. To this day, Claudia Cardinale remains an icon of classic cinema. Though her personal journey has been marked by both triumphs and setbacks, she continues to inspire generations of aspiring actors and fans alike. Her unwavering determination serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, reminding us all that we can overcome whatever challenges come our way. Claudia Cardinale an actress who graced the silver screen for several decades, left an enduring mark on the film industry. Her work in movies like Eight One Half and The Leopard showcased her versatility and captivating screen presence. The actress was known for her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. She often chose roles that challenged societal norms and expectations, contributing to the evolving narrative of women in film. Cardinale's influence extends beyond her own performances. She served as a muse for filmmakers, inspiring them to push boundaries and explore new storytelling techniques. For instance, director Federico Fellini reportedly tailored the role of Claudia in 812 specifically to suit her unique acting style. In a 2010 interview, film critic Roger Ebert noted, 
Claudia Cardinale brought a fresh, natural beauty to the screen, along with a sense of strength and intelligence. This sentiment is echoed by many industry experts and fans alike. This classic actress also paved the way for future generations of performers. As actress Sophia Loren once said, Claudia was a pioneer, proving that Italian actresses could have successful international careers. In conclusion, Claudia Cardinale's contributions to the film industry are significant and far-reaching. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to her enduring impact and influence. As one of Italy's most beloved actresses, Claudia Cardinale graced both small and silver screens for over five decades. Born in Tunisia in 1938, she rose to international fame after winning the Most Beautiful Italian Girl in Tunisia contest. Her breakthrough role came in Lucino Visconti's Rocco and his brothers, which paved the way for her successful career. The actress starred in many films throughout the 1960s, including classics like The Leopard alongside Burt Lancaster and Alan Delon and Federico Fellini's Eight Edgiba. In these movies, she demonstrated her incredible range, moving seamlessly between drama and comedy role. Cardinale continued working into the 1970s and 1980s, appearing in notable films such as Circus World with John Wayne and Orson Welles' The Heroine of Carnegie. Later, she took on television projects, including appearances in popular series like Nero Wolf and I Spy throughout her illustrious career. Claudia Cardinale has remained a captivating presence, enchanting audiences worldwide. With her undeniable charm and versatility, it's easy to see why she remains an iconic figure in global cinema. Now, we invite you to share your favorite memories of this accomplished actress in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed our tribute to her remarkable career and consider sharing it with friends who appreciate classic Hollywood talent. And remember to subscribe for more content, celebrating the creative minds shaping entertainment.